Welcome to the Builder Fusion video training series. I'm your host Drew Davis and in this episode we're going to be covering the price options feature of the events module. Now the price options feature, what this does is allows you to specify different price levels for your event line items. So to kind of uh, go into detail about that, you'll see here that I'm logged into the Builder Fusion system. And if we look at our list of current and upcoming events, it looks like on October 31st, we have a Halloween party. If we click on Halloween party, it'll take us into the details. You'll see that I've already set this one up, so it's got a name and a summary. It looks like it's going to be scary at this Halloween party. And if we scroll down, beneath the section where we'd be able to specify the details for the event, we'll come to the price options section. Now in this price option section, it is something that is not enabled by default for all associations. So if you at your association find that after viewing this video it's something you're interested in utilizing, please let us know and we can get this feature enabled for you. But once enabled, you'll see this section here, price options. And we've got two default entries, a member and a non-member. And so these price options will be reflected for each of our line items. For many of us, that's probably something you're already familiar with. So, for example, to see these default ones in action, if we clicked on our dinner line item that we've already got set up, and scroll down to the bottom where we can specify our prices, you'll see that we already have member and non-member price options listed here. Jumping back to the event, if we scroll down, these two default line items, as I mentioned, are system defined. They're not something that we can change or remove. However, with the price options feature enabled, we can add to it. The way that we add to it is that there's a link down at the bottom that says add price option. When we click on that, a new line will pop up where we can specify a new price option. For me in this example, I'm going to have this price option represent um, a price that I want to give to people who helped me in setting up this event. So I'm going to call this our organizer price option. Along with naming our price option, we also need to specify a registration code. This is the code that your people who are registering for the event need to know ahead of time so that they can enter the code to get this special pricing. So for simplicity purposes, I'm going to just put in 1, 2, 3, 4. But the registration code really can be anything that you would like it to be. After specifying the code, the next piece is that we need to specify a max number of people who can select this price option. So this price option is going to be a pretty steep discount, and so it's not something that we can afford to have a lot of people select. So even though we have a lot of organizers and you're going to give them all this registration code, we're going to still do it on a first come, first serve basis. And only the first, let's say, five people who try to register using this price option are actually going to be able to get it. Okay. The last piece is a checkbox that's titled Display to Registrant. What this does is when marked, allows people registering for your event online to see that this is a price option that's available as well as give them the associated costs. Doesn't necessarily give them the code or allow them to select it, but more or less just makes them aware. If this were to be unmarked, the price option would still be available, but it's not something that would be advertised to anyone who is coming to register for the event. So for our purposes, I'm going to go ahead and mark it just so we can kind of see that in action. So once we've added our price option, we could add additional price options, as many as we would like, and remove any that we decide we didn't want. For our purposes, to try and keep things simple, we're only going to just deal with this one organizer custom price option. So once adding that in, I'm going to go ahead and hit my Save button. And if I now scroll down to my line items, as you recall, within the dinner line item, we had our member and non-member pricing, but you'll see that we now also have this additional price option pricing of organizer. We we'll, can then enter the price option. So for organizer coming to dinner, like I said, this is going to be a pretty steep discount because they pitched in a lot in helping me get this uh, Halloween party going. So I'm only going to charge them $2 for dinner, as opposed to the 10 or 15 that a member or non-member might pay. Jumping back to my event details, after saving that, I also have another line item, a costume contest. Within our costume contest, to be able to participate, there is also a cost involved, $2 for a member and $5 for a non-member. However, once again, for an organizer, I'm going to give a discount. 
So someone who's registering as an organizer only has to pay a dollar to register for the costume contest. As far as the Builder Fusion side of things are concerned, that's really all there is to it. It's pretty simple. You add price option, give it a name, specify a code, do some of the other details there, and really that's all there is to it. Where this is most powerful and where it is really applicable is when a member registers online. So what does that look like? Well, let's go take a look. I'm going to go ahead now and log out. And I'm going to log in as a member that I know hasn't registered for this event yet. So I've logged in and now it says hello Frodo Baggins. So Frodo logs in and he sees looking at the event listing that the Halloween party is coming up on the 31st. And he thinks to himself, hey, I helped with that. Let's see what's going on. So we click on the Halloween party to bring up the details for that event. Once it comes up, we see, okay, it's happening on the 31st. That's good. Here's our two line items, a dinner and a costume contest. And as, as we look over to the right, we're going to see the different price options involved. So the member cost, the non-member cost, and then also our organizer cost. Now, if you'll recall, we marked that box that said display this price option to registrants. And so that's the only reason we can see that organizer cost. If we had left that checkbox unmarked, we would have only seen member and non-member here, those two system-defined ones. So Frodo, after looking over this, decides, hey, yeah, I'm interested in going. Clicks the register button, is then taken to his line item selection page, just like a normal registration. Up at the top of the page, you'll see that it says the current price option is member because Frodo, according to the Builder Fusion database, is an active dues-paying member. So if we look at the line items, it's going to be $10 to participate with dinner as well as $2 for the costume contest as a member. But Frodo, being an organizer, is one of these people that you have given this price option code to. And so Frodo comes in here knowing the price option code, can type that in, and hit the submit button. After doing that, you'll see that the screen refreshes, and now says price option organizer and if we look over here at our line items you'll see that the cost now reflects that price option so you'll see it's two dollars for dinner and only one dollar for the costume contest at this point Frodo can continue on with his registration as normal select his dinner option and if he's wanting to participate in the costume contest he can make that selection as well and use his next button to continue on with his registration so that covers the price option feature and some of the, um, some of the options that are involved with it. Um, once, I, once again, as I mentioned earlier, it is a feature that is not in, enabled by default for everyone. So after viewing this video, if you're interested, once again, please let us know and we can get this option enabled for you. It's a very powerful feature that we hope that you guys find a lot of use out of that can really help you manage your events more effectively as well as offer some interesting options for your members. Um, to capture as much revenue as you can and, and really help people feel like belonging to the association is a, is a value to them. So we hope that you found this episode helpful and we'll see you next time.